So I'm gonna take you with me, Theo, and I'm gonna show you what I've been doing for the past month or so I've been doing here. So let's go over here. So right now we are in like the main air unit. This is why it's so noisy. We're in this main area of where ACs and networking, everything goes through. So if we go into here, this is the main worship center, which is, this is a Baptist church that I'm at. Listen, quiet. So I turn my voice down, but this camera over, this is the Baptist church that I am at. It's old, and they said that they are going to be doing, uh, they're going to be doing some um, renovations here coming soon. But over here is the main area that I work with. So at, because of my college, my arm is killing me holding this phone. Because of my college, they use Midas and Behringer. Midas and Behringer are the same company. So um, I'm not used to this console that I'm at right now. So this is called a Yamaha CL5. It's a, I believe, 32 channel. And then this is Innuendo, the computer for Innuendo. And this actually connects to the actual board itself, which is pretty cool. And right now it's currently um, playing back the um, Sundays, so yesterday's recording. And I have to do something up there and I'll explain that later where I was just at. Um, that's pretty much it here. And then why they use Innuendo and everything here is that they use something called Dante. And I actually learned this in college because the pandemic happened um, when I was taking live sound. Live sound production, it was called, I think. And um, that's what I wanted to do. And of course, COVID happened. And now that's not a thing anymore. Um, you know, like uh, live sound. What is live sound? What is touring? What is concerts? So over here, this is called a Dante Rio. Right here. So this is a network or a patch for all the inputs and it can be used for outputs as well. So as you can tell, this is Dante here, but everything is connected to a network switch, which is right over here where I'm pointing at is in front of me, where I was just at. And also behind this right over here, somewhere over here is another Rio box that is everything that is um, any outputs and you see these silver things which is um called pockets on the floor which is obsolete nowadays you don't even see those anymore um they all go to this real box in the back under here basically this is a dante um enabled area dante is an audio networking system that you can just plug in and it um, plug in XLR inputs or whatever type of input and it will automatically bring it up to Ethernet CAT6 so over here is ProPresenter computer which brings it up onto these two projectors over here and then over here before I go back to where I was this is the main power unit which when you press this right here turns everything off in sequence and then when you press it again and turn on everything in sequence and then that is an amplifier for the speakers i believe or something here these two things the top and below are obsolete they don't be used anymore but that's cassette tape and that's another switcher they use um over here they have microphones that are hence sennheiser uh yeah, they have Sennheiser mics here. Let's go over to where I was. And this is where today I'm working at, that I have to do a virtual sound check. And you can actually do that within um, Dante. So over here, this is what I'm gonna be working at. 
So we have a Behringer X-Touch, which is a control surface. And this is Reaper, which is a free program. I don't know how to use Reaper as much. Over here, that is the broadcasting computer. And then over there, that is called a Black Magic, which is controls all the cameras in the build, Ming Worship Center building. And today, I'm doing a virtual sound check for Sunday, as I showed you on In the Window. In the Window is being routed through Dante into here, but it's a little bit more complex. Um, so basically this computer here is going to be sending signal to that black magic box I showed you over here. That thing. And um, it's going to be sending with via called a Dante Avio, which is a dongle that has left and right XLR and the other end is Ethernet. And you connect that to the Dante network via the ethernet and you plug the XLRs into that black magic and you assign the inputs from this computer to that and it'll work. It's all amazing stuff. And I'm actually certified for level three of Dante. Um, so I basically understand this, even though I took that in, I took the class in 2020 and I took the test and all that in 2020, 2019, 2020. So, uh, when I went here, I'm very glad I was actually using it in real life instead of just like a for say um, virtual environment and just practice. So I actually learned a lot using this in real life. So that is pretty much a tour of what I've been doing. I also cleaned the stage, um, fixed up little things here and there. I fixed it up very neatly. But basically, um, that's what I do. So I've learned a lot with live sound and mixing live doing this virtual sound check with Dante using Dante and everything it's been one heck of amazing trip here with um, with this specifically being here doing all this stuff and learning a lot I'm very very grateful that I had the opportunity to volunteer here and um, be a part of just this awesome group of people that are here and being a part of um, a very awesome environment.